are doing so hana installation so we are doing the hana installation again here so hana installation can be done using hdb lcm tools hana database life cycle management tools so these tools were introduced in uh, from starting from hana 1.0 sps 10 onwards so these tools got so these tools are introduced right so now we can use dot slash in the linux level we need to use the dot slash hdb lcm right so normally we can use the ignore command so why we have to ignore command means so suppose if you see here so install so i'm doing the installation here so installation so but in the in the extracted folder when you extract the hana folder these are the files and folders you will get in the extracted folders we may miss the signature file so it's common it's a known error known error so that is the reason SAP is saying that ignore you can ignore this error by ignore this error by passing the argument by passing the ignore argument here which means dot slash iphan iphan ignore so then check underscore signature file check signature file here right so okay so then install doing the installation okay slash and shared why because these folders are very important here these folders are very important so i'm giving the hdb so simple naming convention instance number is the zero zero okay so and normal group that is fine backup fine log volume data volume slash and data slash and log so it's very important this base values are very important actual data stores here itself only right so slash and data slash and log value so then slash and log Just give me a minute. It is fine. So we have the installation path slash and shared host name. Our host name is common. So one good thing is here, the answer also will be given by the same system only, right? So answer also will take it out. Just we need to click yes, yes, next, 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 enter, enter, enter. So then, so size of the dependency, the password of the HDB ADM user. So then we can type it out, right? So we can reconfirm the password. Home. So this one, this one, so system password, system password also we can give it here, right? System password. Then do you want to restart the system? So after every OS restart, what will what is happening? We are manually starting the HANA database. So what I am doing here, I'm giving the yes. So in case of OS restart happen, HANA DB also will be uh, will be started automatically. By here, we need to set the so just to why and otherwise if already systems are there what we can do we can maintain the one auto underscore restart equals to one r zero we have to maintain in the profile in the hana profile so that whenever the hana restart happens or os restart happens immediately hana will be started so once the os is up hana will be also up here you don't need to manually do anything here hana will also will be up here hana also will up so that is what we have to do it so now see so this is running right now installation is running here so it will update the log files in slash ana slash ana log file it will update the log files in the slash ana uh, sorry slash var and temp in the slash var temp we have the log files here in the slash where time we have the so log files so we have the 
log files in the slash var temp. So there, all the log files and everything will be updated here. All the log files and everything will be updated. So we can verify it how the installation is running and everything. You can see the so log file location slash var temp. So this is the very important here. So what are the log files and everything is getting imported? This is the important thing here, right? So that is the one. Now it's extracting the software. Now performing the installation. First, it will prepare the packages. So prepare the packages. And now it will do the installation of the packages. Now it's in the binary section. So binary section, you now data quality, care, B5, installer. So this all this should be completed. And then installation will be done here. So while doing the installation, HANA installation, there are the seven core process will be created. So database family members here. So those will be created, they will be performed, their duty, their respective tasks will be performed by the, the HANA core process here. Right. First to Dimor main server, index server, preprocessor, compile server. This process will be started that we know. Right. So that will happen here. So once it is started, then you can connect to the HDB 00 or common password. You can connect to the HANA studio. You can perform it. So don't install any other databases. If you install it, just delete it after that. Okay. Connect it to only one common database that is called the HDB. Okay. 